Hello YouTubers, this is Ozzy here. I thought I'd do an update on my layout. It's been a while now. A few new bits and pieces are on. And the good thing is I've got a new camera. So sit back and I'll run a few trains and point out the new bits and pieces. Hope you enjoy the film clip. There are three stations on the layout. This is a scale model of Kirby Stephen. Authentic except for the curve down the end here. It's supposed to go curving to the right. But so I could have the yard it's curved to the left. Most of the buildings are courtesy of Hornby and Barkman. They look quite good on a large layout. With limited time, they're certainly a bonus. The low level layout is named Grantham, not after your East Coast mainline version. One here in Queensland where I used to live as a kid. Devastated by floods in early 2011, my Grantham survived. It's got extensive platform faces and also a fairly large engine shed down here. Prior to place is a Barkman coaling tower. Soon there will be an ash plant hopefully when it comes through. Up in the high level, this is the remnants of an original station, I've called it Hooges Ridge after an album by Mike Oldfield from the 70s. Platform faces are down there, it's got a branch which runs both to the north and to the south. A fairly small goods yard and a larger engine shed here. The Barkman Brewery has been placed as my industrial facilities. We'll have a look over the back of the storage yards. Storage yards are both high level and low level. We have four loops here on the top which service the north and south directions of the branch. There's also a couple of sidings I utilise so I can access from the main line for extra storage capacity. Most branch line trains are small, fictitiously duplicate branches to the southern, the Great Western and the LMS. Mainly it's LMS because that's the majority of my stock. London Midland Region and also LMS. I'm running BR at the moment. Plans are to put another storage yard beneath this one you're looking at now and I'll have another 20 roads so I can put on the LMS stock and alternate the two. Down the far end we've got seven storage roads in each direction and they come through with various trains usually six trains made up in each direction there's possibly 80 or more train formations on the layout at any time. Here we have a Great Western B set in the bay platform at Hooges Ridge. I'll take the train out and I'll see where she goes. The town's in place, I'll just have to do some more scenic work, make it look in much better. It's gone into a tunnel mouth over the back. It's now passing through the central road of the storage yard. I'll go down the other end and return on the southern end of the layout. Here it is now on the southern end of the layout, coming up past the brewery. In a couple of reception loops, and soon back to the station. Here at the station throat, we've got certainly a lineup of locomotives and trains. Going from left to right, there's a weathered Barkman J39, 
Next to that the new Helgen Falcon in weathered lime green. A couple of BR Britannias that have been taken off the long train that the Helgen lines got with another peppercorn engine behind. 8F and finally a class 37 on an oil train. Around here in the engine shed I was fortunate enough to get a garret from a friend, thanks for that. Looking across fairly rare Maroon 3F from the Barkman Collectors Club. Trusty Weather Duchess, in this case City of Nottingham by the looks. And a variety of other workaday locomotives down here in the shed. Thinking back to when I was a child, back in the 60s, my first locomotive the dad had was the Black Princess Victoria. So when it was reissued as a Black Princess, I thought I had to get one. Certainly won't be weathering this one up at all. Let's follow AF as she takes off. Over at Kirby Stephen, a 3F is coming through with a small pickup freight. Through Kirby Stephen on the up line is a newly introduced black Britannia. Get to receive its BR green. This is a Hornby collector's model. As usual, runs very well. The Helgen Class 15 brings in a short passenger working. Fine locomotive. I'm just worried they're going back like the Clayton's. I've already got one that's been uncooperative this morning. Hopefully it's not the shape of things to come. And finally, Falcon comes into the station after having done a loop, pulling up with the signal against it. Thanks for watching, there'll be more to come soon.